Imagine a world where long-haul flights, often marked by waiting and boredom, are cut in half, transforming travel into real lightning journeys across the sky. This futuristic vision could become a reality thanks to Boom Supersonic, an American company working on a revolutionary aircraft named Overture. This aircraft promises to fly at twice the speed of today's commercial airplanes, reviving the dream of supersonic flights. So, what progress has Boom made to make ultra-fast journeys possible today? Let's dive into the latest technological advances at Boom and see how they are preparing for the long-awaited return of supersonic passenger flights. The beginnings of supersonic aviation go back to the 1950s, a time when France and the United Kingdom embarked on this bold adventure. The collaboration between Sud Aviation and the Bristol Aircraft Company led to a legendary aircraft, the Concorde, born from an agreement signed in 1962. The project gave birth to an aircraft capable of flying at over twice the speed of sound, reaching Mach 2 with a range of 7, 220 kilometers. With its delta wing and sleek fuselage, the Concorde was not only fast, but also a symbol of luxury, reserved for travelers willing to invest to cross the Atlantic in record time. On March 2, 1969, the era of supersonic flight officially began with the Concorde's first flight in Toulouse, followed shortly after by another flight from Farnborough in the United Kingdom. Commercial flights didn't start until six years later, but they marked aviation history. Passengers could connect Europe and New York in just 3.5 hours, an achievement that seemed unimaginable at the time. However, despite its success with high-end customers, the Concorde encountered insurmountable obstacles. So, why did the Concorde disappear? Its exorbitant cost, both for construction and maintenance, weighed heavily on it. The energy crises of the 1970s made the situation worse, making each flight increasingly costly as fuel prices soared. Additionally, there was a noise problem. The supersonic boom was so intense that many countries ended up restricting high-speed flights over their territories, the retirement of the last Concords in 2003 marked the end of an era, leaving aviation enthusiasts with a void. Today, Boom Supersonic stands as the new hope for supersonic aviation. Founded in 2014, this company is on a mission to revive supersonic flights, this time aiming to make them accessible to a larger customer base and most importantly, economically viable. Inspired by Boom's XB1 test model, the Overture benefits from the most advanced technologies to combine speed and efficiency. Using materials like carbon fiber composites and innovations like an augmented reality vision system, the XB1 provides a solid foundation for Overture's development. On March 22, 2024, Boom Supersonic reached a milestone with the successful first flight of the XB1 from the Mojave Air and Spaceport in California. In this historic airspace, the company proved that the next generation of supersonic travel is on its way. The XB-1 flew over areas where the Bell X-1, North American X-15, and the legendary Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird once made history. With its advancements, Boom is transforming the supersonic dream into an economically viable reality that's also respectful of noise pollution. The XB-1 has successfully tested altitudes of up to 2 1, 170 meters, and speeds reaching 439 kilometers per hour, showing it is ready for upcoming challenges. At the Farnborough International Air Show, Boom impressed by unveiling Overture's futuristic cockpit, developed with Honeywell's collaboration. Boom hopes to see a full-scale operational engine by 2025, thanks to a strategic partnership with Standard Aero for assembly and testing of the Symphony engine designed specifically to make supersonic flights economically viable. The Overture cockpit relies on Honeywell's Anthem Avionics Suite, a technology also used by VTOL manufacturers like Lilium and Vertical Aerospace. This suite allows pilots to feel precise physical feedback through force feedback control sticks, an innovation that will transform the piloting experience during takeoff and landing. Overture pilots will also have augmented reality glasses by Universal Avionics providing enhanced visibility and covering blind spots. Unlike Concords, which required a tilting nose configuration to improve visibility, Overture pilots can rely on projected views on a flight display and an automatic landing system that ensures smooth and safe descents. Experienced pilots, including former Concorde chief pilot Mike Bannister, 
have already tested this cockpit. Bannister, who flew the Concorde for decades, expressed his excitement for Overture, describing it as both an intuitive and thrilling experience, much easier to operate than Concorde's cockpit. Boom continues to make progress with its Symphony engine program, targeting a functional full-scale version within 18 months. This specially designed engine for the Overture stands out for its fuel efficiency and reliability. In October 2023, the Symphony program reached a major milestone with the successful completion of its conceptual design review, paving the way for the first tests. These tests will provide essential data on key components, such as the compressor and turbine, produced by strategic partner ATI. Thanks to advances like 3D printing, crucial parts like fuel nozzles have already been manufactured, and some hardware components are in the testing phase. Boom plans more than 30 component tests in collaboration with Florida Turbine Technologies to ensure the reliability and performance of these engines. Standard Aero's assembly site in San Antonio, which will cover nearly 9, 290 Mi Square, will serve as the production and testing base for the Symphony engines, with an annual production capacity of up to 330 units. Blake Scholl, Boom CEO, explain that each Symphony engine will deliver three times the power of the three J85 engines used by the XB-1, highlighting the technological evolution between the two aircraft. The XB-1 is designed as a one-third scale prototype of the Overture, a demonstrator that validates simulation data while informing the final aircraft's design. For Skoll, the key is learning from each development stage, and lessons from the XB-1 have already significantly contributed to Overture's design. If your prototype looks exactly like your production aircraft, it means you haven't learned anything, the company CEO said. According to Boom, a total of 10 test flights will be needed before testing the XB-1's supersonic capability, with a first phase of supersonic flight expected at the turn of 2024 and 2025, pending FAA approval. Boom is ready for this historic milestone in supersonic aviation, the company plans to fly the Overture by 2026, with commercial service expected by 2029. The Overture is designed to carry between 64 and 80 passengers at a speed of Mach 1.7, just over 2, 100 km per hour, while cruising at an altitude of 18,000 meters. Blake Scholl has already expressed an ambitious vision for Boom Supersonic, allowing passengers to travel anywhere on the planet in less than four hours for a cost of only $100 an aim that starkly contrasts with the Concorde, once reserved for the elite with tickets costing thousands of dollars to fly at Mach 2. Another key advantage of Overture is its operation with 100% sustainable aviation fuel, which is another step towards environmentally responsible air travel. To comply with current FAA regulations, the Overture will only fly at supersonic speeds over water to reduce noise pollution. However, if this noise reduction technology proves successful, the ban on supersonic flights over land could be reconsidered in the future. To date, Boom Supersonic has already secured 35 orders and 146 options for the Overture from major airlines such as United, American, and Japan Airlines. So, what do you think about the return to supersonic travel? Is it the future of commercial aviation? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and please hit a like and subscribe button.